Okay, horse people, if you're training horses for the back country, one of the most important things you can train them to do is your saddle horse to be able to handle a rope getting under his tail. I have ridden thousands of miles in the mountains. I have never been bucked off in the back country except for when a horse gets a rope under his tail. And what happens is your pack horse behind you, he may be trained to do anything, but until you put those horses together, your saddle horse has never experienced that rope sliding back under his tail and they don't like it. It's just like putting a bucking strap on them. You gotta train them in a safe area when you're not on them to be able to handle that rope. And I'm gonna show you the system that I use. It's really simple to use. You just need two ropes. You take one and you put it under the tail. Now this horse has been trained a lot on it, so he's used to it. But sometimes even getting it under the tail is a feat. You want to stand here where you can't get kicked. Sometimes it takes two people, someone over there. You take the rope, you come uh, to their hocks, and you pull it up slowly. You get them used to having that rope under there. Once they're used to that, you can take a second rope, put it up in the halter here, tie a loop in this rope, and tie them together. And you give it, give it some slack. You don't want a lot there. And you keep him tied up and you get him used to moving his head because every time he moves his head that rope gets a little tension on it and, and and that'll signal to him that something's back there as he gets more used to it you can put a little more tension in this rope and this can take a week <laughs> they don't accept it right away some of them will so maybe after i've worked with them two or three times i'll put that there and let him stand a while and as he gets used to it, it won't be such a traumatic thing when that gets under there. The final test is I will let him go in a safe place where the fences are safe, maybe in a round corral or something, and then let him run around with that because then his head is moving and he's actually jerking on the rope a lot. And he'll kind of learn that that's not the boogeyman back there. Okay, so this is the next step right here. I've, I've put two ropes back to that loop now. One from his right side, one from his left. And what that does is when he walks, he feels the motion of his head back at his tail, and it simulates trail riding when that rope on that pack horse gets back there, because that horse's head will be moving back and forth too, yanking on that rope. And I've got him in a safe little place. He's just within a little barbed wire, or excuse me, a little electric wire enclosure, that could break if he really come undone. And you wanna start them in a really safe place because they will come undone sometimes. They'll go to bucking and you wanna be out of the way. But you can see now, he's already used to that. I think the first time I trained him on this, it took a couple hours to get to this point right here. But you can see as he walks, that puts pressure on that rope back there under that tail. but he's completely used to it now. And that's gonna be a lot safer horse for the backcountry.